Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into a big studio at 1131 Central in Wilmette. It's studio number six, and we have just remodeled this studio. So we walk into a small entry area, and then a big living room that's at least 13 by 12, probably more, probably more like 14 by 12. You see the French doors to the right corner. The windows are facing sort of um, mostly east, a little bit north, but they're facing the front of the building. So you see downtown Wilmette, which is nice. You see it's a big room. And before we walk into the apartment, we have a big entry closet, which I will open up. So that's immediately to the right of the front door. I think this is probably a little bigger than a three by three square. Got a couple of shelves, a hanging bar, a little shelf area, but it's a nice big space. For an entry closet, it's much bigger than most. In fact, the closet space in this apartment is quite good. So we'll take another look at the living room and we'll go down the other side. Now that entry there to the left is a dressing area, to the right is a remodeled bath, and there we just get a glimpse of the handle of the living room closet. So let's walk in. Like I said, this is at the front of the building, so you have nice views. Good natural light, but you see downtown well met, which is very pretty. It's also quiet. You can see the traffic and there's people, but we don't hear a thing in the apartment. If I swing around to the right, get a glimpse of the new kitchen, and then you go back to the front door, and there is the living room closet. So before we go check out the living room closet, let's check out the kitchen. Got a big dining area, probably six by eight dining area or more. You can see we've got new ceramic tiles. The windows are still facing primarily east, a little bit north. And as I walk into the dining area, we get our first look at the new kitchen. Cabinet space, full-size fridge, twin stainless steel sink, lots of counter space actually, which you can't really see from the dining area, but lots of counter space. Again, the full-size fridge, and a brand new dishwasher. Now what's missing, and what will go there, is a new stove. So it'll be a nice size stove, full size stove, and above it we have a stove hood with a fan filter and lighting fixture. So I'm just going to step, maybe I'll step into the kitchen for a second, and just turn around and show you the size of the dining area. You could certainly get a two-person table in there, even a four-person table. Or you could create other spaces as well, counter surfaces, that kind of thing. The countertops are uh, laminate. They look like granite, but they are in fact a laminate. We have outlets at either side of the countertop, which is nice. The dishwasher is really brand new, so it's never been used. It's full size and it's ready to be used. Same thing with the stainless steel sink. I turned on the water, but that's really about it. This building has got terrific water pressure, and you can see it's draining quite nicely. The cabinets are brand new, so I know it's completely dry down here. And indeed it is. So you could use, easily use that as storage. Now there's still three plus feet of counter space to the right of the sink, which is nice. There is a row of drawers here, also to the right, and they have never been used. And then the cabinets above the counter to the right. Sorry about that, that's not very good camera work are also nice. Now if I keep going up, we see the vent. This apartment has central heat and central air. So you actually have central air conditioning, which is terrific. Um, and you have your own thermostat, so you can set both. 
There's where the stove would go. Again, a full-size stove and a stove hood with the fan filter and the lighting fixture. And if we look underneath, we see that it's all brand new. More counter space, whoops the daisy, more counter space on this side. And again, that's probably four feet across. A couple of more drawers and cabinets underneath. Now the thing about the cabinets underneath is they're usually deeper. And these are no exception, that's about two feet deep. So much better for pots and pans. The drawers are really gonna be the same. There's another little bit of an outlet back behind the fridge. And the cabinets above are very similar to the cabinets we saw on the other side. But there's a lot of storage, brand new um, appliances, good counter space, pretty counter space really. Beautiful floors, these are really elegant floors. And a full-size fridge. This fridge freezer must be about five feet, 10 inches high. Freezer on top, shelves to the right. Shelves underneath, crisper drawer, butter dish, more shelves to the right. So really an excellent kitchen with a nice big dining area off a full-size living room, which is super nice to have also. Just give you another quick look at what we're talking about. Then we'll walk back into the living room if I was turned to my right, we'd see downtown Wilmette, which is nice. And we would see downtown Wilmette, but not hear it, which is great. See the outlets on the walls. As I walk towards the living room closet. Nice big closet. So from one end to the other has got to be 10 feet. So it's big space and it's way more than two feet. I'd say it's probably 30 inches deep. You do have shelves or a shelf on the left, but mostly just a huge space and a huge hanging bar. So that's the living room closet. If I turn from the living room closet, we go back to the living room, get a glimpse of the kitchen again or the dining area. And as we go through that entry that we saw earlier, we have two spaces. One is the space right inside to our left, which is probably about three by three. And then a second storage area, closet space, with a hanging bar that's a little more than three feet, three and a half, maybe not quite four feet, and a couple of shelves. So that's a nice to have. We also have hooks all the way around. As I stand in the closet area, look past the dressing area into the bath. Now the bath has been remodeled as well. Floor tiles were, have been here for a while. The, uh, we have a tank toilet, but all of these tiles are brand new. The pedestal sink, brand new. Medicine cabinet, lighting fixtures, all brand new. So it really looks super clean. And you've got this tile all the way around. Lightens up the bathroom quite a bit. Again, great water pressure. Standard medicine cabinet with the lighting fixtures directly above. An outlet to the right. Nice bath window that will open easily so you can keep it clean. Shower head, um, at least six two, maybe more. So let's turn on the water. Again, you can hear, that's all the way to the high. And you can hear. Taking 
care of. And that little black spot is just a little chip in the enamel. Nothing to worry about. Drains well, looks great. Beautiful tiles. Nice pedestal sink, tank toilet. Really a nice bathroom. Then from the bathroom, we're looking at the dressing area and the closet space again. So you have like three big closets in this apartment. One more look at the bath, which is quite nice. Come out of the bathroom area, see the living room closet. Circle around. Again, we have central heat and central air, which is great. Brand new carpet. And that will bring us back to the entry closet and the front door. Thanks for watching.